And it's only really in the last few years since I've worked with other musical people that I've got some more sense of the, what I do is worth doing, that the songs are worth writing and that they are OK, the songs are OK. The Ballad of Barry and Freed. That's just genius. It's absolutely sublime, it's spot on. Frieda and Barry sat one night The sky was clear, the stars were bright The wind was soft, the moon was up Frida drained her cocoa cup She licked her lips, she felt sublime She switched off Gardner's question time <laughs> Barry cringed in fear and dread As Frida grabbed his tie and said Let's do it, let's do it, do it while the mood is right I'm feeling appealing, I really got an appetite I'm on fire with desire, I can handle half the tennis in a male voice choir. Let's do it, let's do it tonight. She could have said I could handle all the tenors, but she didn't. She just said half of them, which I think is brilliant. Go native, creative, living in the living room. This folly is jolly. Bend me over backwards on me hostess trolley. Let's do it, let's do it. Bend me over backwards on me hostess trolley. Well, I had visions of that and just roared laughing. There's a theme of trolleys in her work. I'm older, feel colder, it's other things that turn me on. I'm imploring, I'm boring, let me read this catalogue of vinyl flooring. I can't do it, I can't do it tonight. Most of us have been there at one point or another. I'm going, oh no, <laughs> not now, not tonight, Josephine. Don't angle, for me to dangle, my arms have never been that strong. Stop pouting, stop shouting, you know I pulled a muscle when I did that grouting. I can't do it. It goes on, and it's a long song. And on, constantly, let's do it. And then the key change, da 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 da. And you have all these different key changes. Stop nagging, I'm flagging. You know as well as I do that the pipes need lagging. I can't do it, I can't do it tonight. It's probably 20 years since I wrote it, and my voice got much lower. And I can only play it in the keys I used to play it, and I can't sing it. <laughs> I don't really sing it. You want to drive your mad with it? That's a hard song to perform. That bloody hell, it's good. It's a work of genius. Let's do it, let's do it. I really want to rise to the rain. Let's go, cause I know just how I want you to behave. Not meekly, not bleakly. Beat me on the bottom with a woman's weekly. But let's do it, let's do it Just even talking about it, and I've been feeling low, down, or depressed, or whatever. Yeah. Bung one of her sketches up, or even think about it, and it chuckles you up for the day. May she keep on making me laugh. It's wonderful. Thank you, Victoria. It's a cliche to say that Victoria is the sort of person you'd like to spend an evening in the pub with, but you would. And will you continue to handle my potatoes? I have learnt with Vic to stop wasting my time wishing I could emulate her and to just enjoy, enjoy admiring her. Massive talent, basically, is the secret of her longe longevity. I feel very lucky to be able to think of her as um, a darling friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry. Just the very fact that Victoria Wood knows I exist is enough to make me die happy. She will loom large in the history of, of, of television and stage comedy and writing generally. I look back, I feel really fortunate that I managed to, to get from dying the death in a folk club to playing the Albert Hall. And I'm proud that I can still go on television now, you know, that I managed to keep a career going along all, all those years. And I'm really happy about that. <laughs>